Cotton candy. Who knew sugar and air could taste so sweet? Well, a guy named James Morrison, an amateur inventor whose occupation and taste buds didn't exactly align. He was a dentist. And during his lifetime, James even became the president of the Tennessee Dental Association. Don't forget to floss. But he was also a confectionery enthusiast with a passion for culinary Shh. advancement. He paired with John C. Warthen, an old friend and fellow confectioner. Together, the two designed and co-patented what they called the electronic candy machine. The device rapidly spun and melted sugar through small holes until it was fluffy and nearly 70% air. They called the new treat Fairy Floss. They introduced their product at the 1904 World's Fair, selling it in small wooden boxes for 25 cents each. Thank you. That's about $6 you. today. Fairy Floss was a huge success. In six months, they sold over 68,000 boxes, grossing in today's money around $440,000. But despite the success of the sugar spun business, Morrison returned to his day job as a dentist. So next time the dentist tells you you're eating too many sugary treats, well, blame him. <laughs>